perfect. Perfect. What's that gun? <laughs> All right, let's get to the fight. Now that we're alone, let me cut to the heart of the matter. You are skilled in manipulating the elements. And not just a single element, but multiple. Is that correct? That's a strong, uh, strong word, Kazuha, manipulating. Uh, so you already know, no wonder you didn't bring this stuff in the... Paimon, we knew that you were hinting at something from the moment we met! You've known all along! That's right. If the other contenders were to catch wind of your elemental abilities, let's just say it would cause some unwanted misunderstandings. If I'm not mistaken, you share these considerations, given your reluctance to use elemental skills even in the heat of a match. Yeah, how do you know? <laughs> when I talk about that which I see or hear in you, this is not poetic symbolism at play. I mean these things in the truest sense possible. Since a young age, I have been attuned to the tidings of nature. I hear the breath of the wind and the whispers of the leaves. It is things of this nature that I also hear from within you. Nothing more. The music is back, yo. As crazy as all that sounds, somehow Paimon still believes you. Of course, you gotta believe him. <laughs> My humble abilities are negligible compared to your incredible Neg feats. Negligible. You know where I learned that word from? <laughs> from PewDiePie. You know when he... You know when he always messes up the... How to say the word negligible? He'll be like, negligible. To think a human could wield the elements without a vision. Well, he's not human. He's an alien. He's from a different world. Kazuha, like... You're sounding like a know-it-all right now. And not to mention your incredibly complex scent. Yeah. Like that of some mysterious being. Like a flying, floating, tiny paimon. And like a one wearing one stocking on one foot, and the other foot is just like a like a hook around the thigh. Let's get it! Hey, stop evaluating us based on our smell! It's weird! Yeah, Kazuha, you're weird. Could you put chance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain your combined elemental abilities? Uh, all I did was touch the Statue of the Seven. Hmm. Extraordinary. So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learn to channel elemental energy and even wield it in combat? Thanks to Paimon's knowledge. Aww, it's nothing really. Paimon just told him whatever came to mind. Mm -hmm. It's been a long journey, and many things have happened along the way. Somehow, he just naturally learned to use the elements to it all. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. Are you sure? Perhaps such unfathomable things are the essence of the gods and the visions they grant. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Perhaps it may yet reveal something to me. Of course, I too shall share with you all that I've learned. That will make it a fair exchange. Now then. Let's test your skills, shall we? Really? Are you gonna go against me now? Are we gonna are we gonna spar? Is it these ones? Nice and spicy! Uh, they're fire elements. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Thank God. Hey, you stop my Get him. Oh, yeah, I got a deal. This is perfect to kill my guy. Bet you can't keep up with me. Luba, get them. Thank you. No, I'm up. No escape. Go, go. Uh, not so hot, right, Pip. Let the show. 
begin. Huh? That guy's a bigger heart. I mean, bigger HP, huh? huh? so we gotta get it. Huh? Huh? You gonna jump? Woo! You got me? No, what? Yeah. Oh, what? He actually did that. Man. Mm -hmm. the manner. Okay, nothing. Boom! Oh! I got more. Oh, I got more. Oh! You control the L. Oh, pay no attention to me. I was just talking to myself. <clears throat> I will be sure to observe your battle intently. Nice. I can actually use my fire element now. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> this group is the weak against fire. Ah! Uh, what are they talking about? Heal them! Oh so god! Hmm. Your skills in battle are truly beyond reproach. Even with your opponent's speed, he shouldn't be able to overwhelm you. Your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing and maintaining balance, which enables him to execute moves that many would find impossible. He relies entirely on the element of surprise to defeat his opponents. In other words, as long as you remain mindful of his ability to detect weak points, then his attack should pose no threat to you. Please, save your thanks. If anything, I should be thanking you for the opportunity to witness your command of the elements that defies all known principles. The world is a truly mysterious place, it seems, and one will always encounter that which is still unknown. You seem kind of obsessed with visions, but don't you already have your own? Why are you so intent on exploring the connection between visions and the elements? I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods. And what influences the gods' decision to grant humans these visions? My apologies. You must be completely in the dark regarding such matters. For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer mm. any questions you may have regarding Inazuma. I am indeed in the dark, so please enlighten me. So that's what you're curious about? <laughs> then allow me to tell you more. Are we gonna have like a background, uh, background clip of Inazuma? As you well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Mm -hmm. Visions are a gift bestowed by the divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably. Sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. He's also an animal. In the outset. Supposing each of the seven Archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even the act in and of itself? 
Not to mention, with no new electrovisions having been granted for such a long time, it would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. Raiden Shogun. She sounds less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. <laughs> as far as I know, she is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? Hmm. It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. That's why you, I gotta go in there. Sounds a lot like something the god you encountered in the beginning would do. Oh? Have you encountered the Electro Archon before? I guess. With time, we will change, but the Shogun will remain the same. Because she's the god of eternity, right? If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. Forever, at least there's forever. <laughs> there will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Oh wow. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. Oh right! We got so distracted talking about Inazuma that Paimon forgot all about the tournament! Yeah, it's already daytime. If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. Very well. Let's go. I wish to see who will obtain the vision. Maybe? Oh, what the heck just happened? Follow the wind? Enter the arena? Captain Beto. <sighs> Why isn't he here yet? Never I'm mind. Here. We can start by making your entrance first. Oh, well, I'm going to win by default. Are you serious? Everyone, listen up. Your attention, please. We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash. This is the final match. Oh, the music is back, guys. We've seen many exciting battles today. And now, at long last, the two finalists have emerged. Now, I'd like to introduce our first combatant. Though few have seen him, his reputation knows no bounds. He strikes fear into the heart of Osile, and the mere mention of his name causes even the Fatui Harbingers to turn pale in the face. Introducing Liu's traveling hero! Look at Ether's face. Wow! Wow, that's the face that beat the Osile god? <sighs> moment i'm sure everyone witnessed his thrilling match in the semi-finals but today's final round will surely take things up a notch i think it's gonna be kazuha as for our other combatant uh he still hasn't arrived it's kazuha oh wait he's there on the left side oh, come on what could be taking him so long be, man? you can't just forfeit for not showing up like in previous rounds <laughs> this is the finals Apologies! Everyone just sit tight! Maybe they got the match time mixed up. Maybe they're intimidated to show up. Nah. They've got no other choice. If he doesn't show up, we'll just have to postpone the match. Are you serious? Wait a moment. Something doesn't seem right about this. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Captain Beto, perhaps we should check on the prize. Traveler, oh, come no. with us. They stole it. They stole it! Now we're gonna hunt them down, right? Go to the box. Get the box. Beto. Let me see. That's gone, all right. Mm. The vision is missing. Huh? Did somebody steal it? Who would dare do such a thing in broad daylight? We don't know when it was taken exactly. <laughs> I never thought that someone here would have the guts to cross Captain Beto. No need to worry. Even the craftiest sleight of hand does not escape nature's watchful gaze. Hmm. The culprit has only acted recently. They will not have gotten far. The vision was the prize that I had offered, and it was my responsibility to look after it. I will be certain to get it back. Well, if you insist, I'll leave the matter to you then. I'll stay here and try to offer some explanation to all the spectators that came to see the match. If you would, please come with me. Um, but we're on an island. Where could he have possibly run to? 
Come with me. I can sense the winds are coming. Why is it this song again? It's like the wrong song for the situation. Go to the strong wind location. Hmm? Huh? A wind current? The winds have come at an opportune moment. Let's oh, seize this time. chance. Ride the winds upward. From there, we can continue our search hey, for clues. Too high. By the way, what made you suddenly think of checking the prize in the first place? I heard it the moment it was stolen. Well, then why didn't you stop him? You'll see shortly. The winds are guiding us forward. The culprit is on the opposite shore now. You can hear that too? What does it sound like? <laughs> Hubris. Oh! This way, I'm follow me. There may be an ambush waiting for us up ahead, but I trust that you are well prepared for such a scenario. I gotta get there in 10 seconds. I'm not gonna make it again! I'm not gonna make it. The winds are guiding us forward. Oh. The culprit is on the opposite shore now. Nice. I thought we were gonna be you can starting hear that all the too? way back here. What does it sound like? <laughs> Hubris. This way. Follow me. There may be an ambush waiting for us up ahead, but I trust that you are well prepared for such a scenario. Where is it? Treasure hoarders, just as I expected. In which case, please stand back. Please stand back. I can't even use your character, uh, Kazuha. You guys are level There's only one way to deal with you, right? And that's to back off! Because we are Venom. I had even prepared a boat to ensure a quick getaway, and still you caught up to me. No boat could ever match the speed of the wind. The wind? What are you talking about? Oh, I get it. Your vision. Drat! If I only had a vision. Or if I could activate this one, then you'd never be able to catch me. This has nothing to do with visions. You may be skilled at vanishing from a crowd, but it's little about how to conceal yourself from nature's gaze. Additionally, your chosen escape route was flawed for reasons that are too numerous to go into. And on top of that, I could hear your boasting and proud laughter in the wind as I was pursuing you. Wow. In other words, you failed to meet any of the basic criteria for a grand heist. Namely, you. speed, stealth, and style. You built this city. You... You! But most disappointing of all is the state of the vision in your hand. It appears that the vision doesn't respond to human desire indiscriminately. Fine! Fine! I admit it. I've had my eyes on this vision for quite some time now. I decided to register after hearing that this fighting contest was full of a bunch of lousy fighters. I fought my way to the finals and... Aha! So you were supposed to be our opponent! Mm -hmm. I'd intended to win the contest your skill alone all along, but then you showed up. After watching the semi-finals, I knew that I didn't stand a chance. 
But I wasn't about to give up on the vision so easily after coming all this way. Since there was no use in trying to face you in the match, I decided to put my skills to good use while everyone's attention was on you and Beto. I was convinced I prepared thoroughly for my escape, but somehow you still managed to catch up to me. After all I went through to get it, I think not. <laughs> I know an empty threat when I hear one. Fine, but you'd better mean it. It didn't activate once I took it anyway. It's nothing but a useless shell to me. You know, according to the laws of the sea, the penalty for stealing is breaking the culprit's arms. Huh? Oh. You're not serious, are you? Not to mention that the item you stole was a prize. You didn't show up for the final match, and you damaged the reputation of the captain of the Crux fleet. Ooh. It seems that it would be only fair to brand the word thief on your forehead with a hot iron. Oh, whoa, whoa! We don't need oh, to go that man. far, do we? <laughs> I never would have guessed you could be so cruel. If this is where talking gets me, then forget it! I'll risk a fight! What are you trying to do? Just you watch! Go, go, Ferret! His, his voice changed. Oh, this guy can defend! Stop it. You're toast! <laughs> Wind blade. Yeah. 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 He has persevered to the bitter end, and now death looms near. Yet still the gods do not bestow their favor upon him. Put down the vision and leave. I've changed my mind. No further punishment for you. Uh huh? What's wrong? Are you asking for more punishment? It's up to you. Such willingness is commendable and fits the way of the samurai. No, no, no need for that. Thank you for releasing me. You truly are generous. Hi. Paimon doesn't get it. Were you just trying to scare him? I take no pleasure in frightening others. I was just testing all possibilities while the vision remained in his hands. When people are forced into a corner, that is when their greatest strength will appear. I thought it may be an opportunity for him to awaken the vision. Wow. But unfortunately, nothing happened. So you were planning this all along? Yes. I wanted to know whether it were possible for an extinguished vision to be reawakened. He was planning it since it was stolen, or he he plotted this whole thing? From the moment he stole the vision, I decided to use him for this experiment. Oh, okay. I've tried many other methods in the past. Though few tales tell of a masterless vision reawakening. After seeing you command multiple elements, I figured that nothing is impossible. Come, mm -hmm. why don't you give it a try? Oh, wow. Let's see if you can give me the answer I'm hoping for. I'll try. <sighs> the vision didn't seem to respond at all. I see. So you are also unable to rekindle the vision. No matter. This was expected. I suppose this vision is still mine to take for now. Why are you so attached to this vision? Or why are you so determined to rekindle this vision? Yep. Yeah, what's the story behind this vision anyway? The story begins with an old friend. You know all these characters that we meet throughout the game and most of them are like uh, at this age that Kazuha, Amber and them and Shangling they're still young age but they talk like they're freaking adults like what? 
He was once a good friend of mine. One day he asked me about a sword art of which he had heard, the Musono Hitotachi. I told him it can only be witnessed when divine punishment is administered. It is the pinnacle of the Raiden Shogun's skill, a symbol of ultimate power. But he replied, there must be one who can withstand it. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Then, the vision hunt decree arrived. People's aspirations were stripped away as the Raiden Shogun began to construct her ideal of eternity. While I was fleeing from place to place, I heard that my friend had challenged the vision oh, hunters no. to a duel before the Your throne. Friend died. Or he lost a vision. In a solemn the yet brutal challenge. The defeated faced divine punishment, while the victors gain a second chance. Perhaps he thought he of all people should make a stand. Coming face to face with the Musono Hitotachi was all that he truly desired, after all. When I arrived at Tenchukaku, the duel was over. I heard his sentence of divine oh, punishment, no. his severed blade hitting the ground. That. Perhaps that was the glory he had yearned to witness. Also, that was his vision. In his last moments, what expression was on his face? Before I knew it, I had stepped forward and snatched the dying vision and was running from the scene. All I knew was that I mustn't let his hope, which burned so brightly, become buried among the ice-cold statue of a god. Perhaps one day, I may come to find that all I have done is meaningless. Hmm. But as a wandering samurai, I find meaning in traveling and the sprawling beauty of nature that lies along the way, while still retaining the warrior way in my heart. Kazuha! <laughs> it's just another way of saying I do as I please. All right then, it's time we returned. Allow me to oh, gather the wind on. for us once more. It glitched on me, man. I, I was gonna pick the second one, the I'm here for you to... I'm here to listen. And then it just popped up again. Huh? Did Beta leave already? Maybe she went back to her ship! No, they left us. If you're looking for the captain, she was summoned by Lady Ningguang. Oh, Ningguang. It seems that the Crux Clash got out of hand this time and has attracted her attention. Oh, wow. Captain Beta was muttering something about Ningguang being a stick in the mud as she headed off to Liyue Harbor. I bet it's about this being an illegal event. <laughs> it's not unusual for those two to be at odds with one another. But still, Captain Beto was disappointed she didn't get to witness the crowning of the new champion. She had been looking forward to it for quite some time. The one who stole the vision was originally to be this hero's opponent in the final round. Hero. He knew he stood no chance of winning the match. Thus the wicked idea of stealing the prize took hold in his mind. Mm-hmm. In which case, yep. the Crux Clash comes to a clear-cut conclusion. Huh? So I mean, that's what happened? There, there aren't any audience anymore. If that's the case, then the rules stipulate that he is disqualified. Yeah. And our hero here is the champion. Yeah, I am the champion. I thought we'd win and all, but not like this. It doesn't matter. As the saying goes, honor given is honor deserved. Now, let me go prepare the champion's medal to award you. So will we be able to travel to Inazuma? Yes, I believe so. Though Captain Beto is no longer present here, I'll be sure she receives word of it. She is a woman of her word. Uh-huh, I like that. But the voyage to Inazuma is a treacherous one. You will be plagued by a perpetual tempest the entire trip. Okay. In fact, the relentless rain and wind are also an embodiment of the Raiden Shogun's will to close the nation. Hmm. Hold on a second. You're saying she can change the weather just with the power of her mind? Let us not forget that this is one of the seven Archons. If Liyue's Morax could form Guyun's stone forest by casting down his stone spears, then it should come as no great surprise that the Raiden Shogun is capable of summoning an eternal tempest. Suffice it to say that if you wish to journey to Inazuma, the Alcor will need some time. 
You will be notified once all the preparations have been made. All right. In the meantime, I intend to embark on a journey of my own. I will travel all across the vast lands of Liyue in the hope of finding a way to reawaken the vision. Cool. Hyman believes you'll find a way for sure. Thank you. May both our journeys prove meaningful. One final word of warning. The part of your journey that lies after the storm may well prove to be the most arduous. You know, speaking to Kazuha, he's, he just saying some deeper words that I can hardly understand. <laughs> I just assume what they're supposed to mean, but what it doesn't mean. Mm. Wait, what do I do now? 